Today we're going to be covering the steps on how to recover the IP address of your RTA unit. Based on the hardware platform you have, this will either be pushing a button or having to go through the serial port. Let's get started. If you have an NNA1, NNA4, NNAU, N2E, or N2EW hardware platform, then you can utilize the Intelligent Reset button. Insert something into the pinhole and hold for 5 seconds until LED 1 and 2 are flashing green. This means the IP address has been set back to factory default, which is DHCP. Click on the link in the description below to watch the video, Axing RTA Unit, to follow the setup on changing your PC to auto IP, allowing you to gain access to the RTA unit, and assigning static IP address. If you have an N34, N700, N70U, N70PB hardware platform, please continue watching the video to recover your IP address. N70U or N70PB, you will need an RS-232 to USB converter, a DB9 straight through cable, and MIDI. MIDI can be found on the CD or click the link in the description to our downloads page. Here is a pinout of the straight through cable. N34 and N700 hardware platforms. You are going to need an RS-232 to USB converter, a null modem cable, and MIDI. Plug your cable in port 1 on the N34 and port 0 on the N700. MIDI can be found on the CD or click in the link in the description to our downloads page. Here is a pinout for the null modem cable. Now if you have a product on the N34 that is using dual serials such as dual RS-45, then you will need to change the internal jumpers. It's highly recommended you take a picture of how your jumpers are before proceeding with the video. There are a total of four screws, two underneath the LED label, and two on the DIN rail. You'll need to set up the jumpers to be RS-232 as shown here. Once you've changed the jumpers, continue with the video. Using either the null or straight through serial cable, connect the cable to either port 1 or port 0 of your RTA unit. Next, you will want to run the MIDI tool. This is located on the CD, or you can download it from our website, rtautomation.com. Hover over the support tab. You can download MIDI from any one of our product support pages. Whatever option you click, simply save the file to your desktop. Once you've installed the driver for your converter, verify the COM port your RS-232 to USB converter is using within your device manager. As we can see here, my converter is on COM port 3. Go ahead and launch MIDI, select your port, battery is going to be 115200 with everything else defaulted. I'll change the font size just to make it bigger and go ahead and press connect. Now here comes the tricky part. While holding down shift A in your keyboard, you need to power cycle the RTA unit at the same time. If successful, you'll see an NB prompt. Type in setup to access the menu and hit enter. Here you can verify what the IP address of your RTA unit has been assigned. You can change your PC's network settings to, so that you're on the RTA's network, or you can change the RTA's IP address to be on the PC's network. I'm going to verify what the PC's IP address is. I'm going to go into my properties, IVP4, looks like I'm set to 192.168.0100, class C subnet mask. I'm going to change the IP on the RTA unit, so we're going to go back into MIDI, type in the number 1, and hit enter. I'm going to enter in the new IP address. Got three. Hit enter. Type in two for the sub so I can enter a subnet mask in. And then I'm going to press enter. Default gateway IP is totally optional. That'd be number three. Review your settings and type in S. Then enter to save the changes. Disconnect from MIDI. Unplug your serial cable. Cycle power to the RTA unit. And you're going to want to plug your Ethernet cable back into the RTA unit at this time. Open up your web browser and type in the new IP address and your RTA will be displayed. 